Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Infinity and Beyond with the Collective Consciousness of the Children. So last Monday um, at the monthly energy session, I was having a conversation with the, those folks about avatar consciousness and aligning with avatar consciousness. And what I want to say is that every single day since then, that's what I keep hearing over and over again, align with that consciousness, align with that consciousness, regardless of whether we know what that actually means or not, setting that as our intention and aligning with that will kind of um, start the, it'll activate the body, it'll activate the emotions, it'll activate the mental state so that it starts coming into coherence or into resonance with that particular frequency of yourself. So we, each individual that, you know, kind of aligns with avatar consciousness and sticks to it, sticks to that as their intention, will go through a series of um, shifts and changes, <clears throat> mainly coming up in the throat, right? Um, so they'll go through a series of, of shifts and changes, and they are total. They are your your mental body gets totally rewritten, your emotional body, your physical body, it gets um, reprogrammed, right, to that higher state of consciousness. Um, a lot of times, the minute that we say, I'm going to align with some higher aspect of ourselves, the, the minute that we start feeling uncomfortable, or um, maybe we get it confused, um, we have a tendency to think that somehow we're getting punished or somehow we've done something wrong. And that's why that kind of energy is coming to the surface. That's not the case at all. You've set an intention and set any intention, quite honestly, and then watch what happens to your physical, mental, and emotional bodies simply because you set that intention. If you notice what happens the minute you set an intention, you're also gonna to begin to notice just how powerful of a creator you are. It's, you know, we've heard that term or that phrase, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The minute you set that intention, you start to become it. And so if you're setting your intention to avatar consciousness, your body will naturally and organically come into alignment with that. And because everybody's um, expression of avatar consciousness is unique unto them because everybody has um, come into a certain degree of alignment with that in other incarnations. None of us really knows what any individual um, needs to move through in order to come into or into embodiment of that avatar consciousness. So you also can't really judge yourself against somebody else's process. But set the intention and notice what you notice. And when something comes up, that is physical, mental, or emotional, and it's distressing, um, it's, please understand that it really is only distressing to the more limited aspects of yourself. So give yourself kind of, those are the times you actually need to pat yourself on the back. Wow, something's coming up. And it's coming up because one, I've aligned with the avatar within, and two, I'm acknowledging that anything that comes up after that intention is set is simply part of that process. And so I'm going to acknowledge and appreciate to the, whatever degree I can that process instead of using that first uh, moment of discomfort to say, oh, I must be doing something wrong and I'm going to back up into um, kind of an old uh, version of myself, right? So um, anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Um, have a great day and um, I'll see you again next time. Bye.